all right what's up with the youtube fam i'm back again with another video so listen man the video title for today is stepchild record stepmother cussing at her and they both argue who's wrong in this situation now listen <laughs> this is a touchy situation you know what i'm saying from the title because i'm already knowing there's a lot of step parents that's fed up out there it's a lot of step children that's fed up as well with the step parents <laughs> so yeah i know it's a lot of animosity in a lot of situations but i do feel like that being a family i should try to work it out and if you are the adult in the situation or the oldest person in the situation you should try to be a problem solver in this situation versus arguing and causing a whole bunch of negativity or dealing with each other when y'all shouldn't be around it's okay to not coexist with somebody else and understand that we can be apart from each other you feel me but i don't know the circumstances or what's really going on in this situation so i'm just giving y'all my thoughts initially before we move into the video y'all already know these are reaction videos but i want to know y'all thoughts and opinions on this situation and don't hold them back man let me know how you really really feeling about this anyways man squash all that Let's get into this and see what's going on with the situation. Y'all hit the like button if you're rocking with the channel. Y'all like, comment, subscribe if you're rocking with me. If you don't want to hear me talking at any point in time in this video, then you can just get up off here and go find it somewhere else. But to my supporters that I'm really rocking with and is really rocking with me, I appreciate y'all. Just hit the like button for me and let me know y'all thoughts and opinions on this. But enough of all that, let's get into it and see what's going on with the situation, man. They too toxic for each other, you know. At first, I was thinking that the daughter was being very, very disrespectful until I heard how she was being spoken to. You know, being an adult, you should be a problem solver. You should try to make this shit right in some type of way. And if you can't coexist with a child or if this child is being so disrespectful, whatever the case may be, then you need to go ahead and move around or try to work something out. Because, I mean, I mean nobody wants to be with somebody else's child if they're not being how they should be, you know, mannerable you know, easy to manage and certain things like that. But as far as like somebody just being disruptive and things like that, you know, or being a problematic type of child, I can understand you wanting to leave. But in this situation, man, I'm honestly, and it's just my thoughts and opinions as of now, that the mother is kind of, the stepmother is doing too much, you know, as far as like cussing and all of that. If I'm having a situation, yo, mother gonna take care of the situation. Because I'm not going to go all the way down through there with you like that because you're not my child. You know, and certain things I'm not going to feel right saying or doing to you. And uh, not saying I harm nobody else's kids and shit. I'm just speaking in general, giving y'all a real understanding of where I'm coming from with this. But, yeah, I'm not going to deal with no bullshit with nobody else's child when I can just go ahead and simply tell the mother and keep on pushing. Or I can just leave the situation in totality without telling anybody. Just be done with it. But it's all up to the person. I just feel like that when you're an adult... Ain't no way in the head you supposed to be arguing with a child. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I feel about that, you know? I'm going to keep my peace, but I'm damn sure not going to argue with no child. You feel me? 
But uh, let me know your thoughts and opinions on that, you know. But the, the stepmother's being on the line, and the little girl is kind of showing me that she's more mentally capable of, you know, diffusing the situation than the stepmother is because she's so emotional and irate at this time. It's like she can't even understand that this is a child. That's why she said, you're this old. You know what I'm saying? I think that's what she's trying to get her to realize. But, you know, it is what it is. I know a lot of step people are going to be, I said step people, they're going to be trying to take her for the woman. Yeah, these kids bad. Woo -woo -woo. Yeah, that's true. But how you respond is everything in every situation. You know, that's just how I feel. Let's get back into it. I'm not trying to argue. I know that. I know that. And that's understandable. Cool. I'm but proud of you. you. Mm-hmm. Really real. Okay. But you could you could have answered the question at least yes or no. Do you want me to be here? Do you want me to be here? I'm not gonna stay here and be your slave, number one. She said she ain't gonna stay here and be a slave, baby. Oh you don't have to you don't have to keep telling you don't have to you don't have to be telling asking him for validation. Eat a third thing, nigga, I gotta buy my own food. Buy your own food. Bye. Buy your own food. I'm fixing to cut your grass. Bye. Call them. Call them. Call the call, call, call. Call them. Straight up. Let me go get prepared. Let me pack my shit. You better get your ass. No, you're going to call the police. 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 You're going
tossed every day, you know. I mean, having a lot of things to do and going through a lot of stuff can be frustrating. Now, listen, I'm not trying to make no excuses for no disrespectful child. If she's being disrespectful, then she's being disrespectful. But as far as what we can see right here on this video, I just feel like that the woman is picking. And it's some type of jealousy somewhere, in my opinion, you know. But, hey, it is what it is. We really just don't know. So, don't take me all the way to the bank with what I'm saying. I'm just saying it's something that's going on that's deep, deep rooted. But the girl is telling a whole bunch of stuff that we really need to know that's very vital. And you can kind of understand why certain things are going a certain way. Let's get back into it, though. You try to put me in jail over some stupid shit. Okay. But that's okay. Like I said, I do not want to be here. I do not want to be here. I don't know. If you told me to leave right now, adios, amigos. I'm gone. Mm. I know it. I'm gone. Y'all want to know everything of where I want to do, where I, where I got to be, how much money I got, where I spend my money. Why are y'all so worried about it? If you so called the other day said you was done. If you so done, why are you worried about me? Oh, she got her mouth twisted. Sure, I do. You want to want, you want, you want do some damn? Yeah. I'm, if you're done, I'm done. I'm tired of being just trying to do everything you tell me to do. Mm. So you can't say nothing. Well, look here. But, like I said, you're in our house. There's no thing. You don't pay no rent here. It's common courtesy. It's common courtesy. Common courtesy. Common courtesy. Just like every time you come into the house, yes, I understand you working. I understand that you you tired throughout the day and you expect shit to be done and I do everything that you tell me to do. Yes, sometimes I may slip up and make a mistake. Guess what? I go back and I fix it. So every time, every time y'all come in here, good morning, good afternoon, whenever y'all come in, common courtesy. I don't got to do it, but I do it anyway. Mm. Every time you do something around the house, thank you. Every time, every time you talk to me, Mm. When we're sitting She's down smart. in a simple conversation, I listen to you. But stuff like this, it goes from one end out the other. I want to know, I want to know, I want to know right now. Do you want me to go? Do you want me to go? Do you want me to, go? You want me to leave? Okay, then. You can't even answer a simple question. If it went for the daddy, she'd say, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, she said somebody get some stuff packed up. Let me run it back. I can't understand that shit. Damn. She laughing? Oh, she get to leave. She happy as hell to leave. Now, I don't know what the hell going on with this situation right here. And um, I don't want nobody to get it misconstrued when I said what I said a while ago as far as, like, you know, being a problem solver. I'm not telling you to accept anything, but I'm saying as far as, like, things being de-escalated should be done by the, the adult in the situation. You know, you're supposed to cancel this shit. Either we finna fix the situation with us talking regularly or I'm going to tell your father or your mother, whoever the situation is pertaining to, you know, what's going on and you need to be fixed or I'm going to have to leave because I'm not going to sit here and deal with no child who's being disrespectful or not minded. But this child is stating that she's doing everything that she's told to do when she's told to do it. And sometimes she does make mistakes, which is true. Everybody makes mistakes. But um, for her to say that if we're talking regularly and things like that, yes, I'm going to do everything. But if you're going to be talking to me a certain way and disrespecting me and things like that, then I'm not going to do it. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be saying, well, it's my house, this and this and that. I can understand that becoming courtesy is something that people should have, especially if you're dealing with someone that's a child. If I'm willing to go ahead and be with you to this certain extent, to the point where I'm putting my name on a deed and things like that, we should be able to handle this child together as much as possible. Now, I'm not saying go out there and harm yourself and hurt yourself and do extra shit, but I'm just saying, hey, if you're going to do anything as far as like entering someone's life try to work with them as much as possible or just leave the situation without making it a resentful situation to the point where you feel like you hate the child and things like that because it should never get that far it should never get that deep this shit should be nipped in the bud when it's a problem you know when the problem is initiated 
it should be fixed immediately. If it can't be, then go ahead and move forward. I understand that you love who you're with and things like that, but at the same time, you got to realize that it's not worth your peace. So, yeah. But other than that, man, that's all I really got to say about the situation. I just feel like this little girl was really, really trying to tell us something without telling us something. You know, I feel like that the mother is being a little bit childish in this situation. Because I'm not going to argue with nobody about nothing, especially for your child. I ain't got time. Hell, no. Nah. You finna argue with your daddy. Or y'all gonna have to find somebody else to deal with because I gotta go. I'm not gonna sit here. Your mama, daddy, whatever the case may be, whoever's pertaining to. I feel like you should just leave and let them deal with it. And maybe at a later time, y'all can get back together and try to work it out. But as far as like letting a child get you out of character and things like that, just don't make no sense to me. You're a grown ass person, you gotta act like that. And I always remember that this child isn't fully developed mentally. So why would I sit here and belittle myself? You feel me? Not saying that the child is beneath you, but you know, you're supposed to be the adult. That's all I'm saying. But that's all I gotta say, man. I wanna know your thoughts and opinions, and I will holler at y'all later on another video. Right. Ever ask a motherfucking hell to say thank you to you? Whoa! Oh, shit. It's common. It's it's the principal. Get up. The principal of my ass, your ass laying up in this motherfucker. Why are you yelling at me? You, you act like I. Up. First of all, I'm not disrespecting you, so don't disrespect me. I'm coming here nice. I'm being nice. I'm not you don't, being you don't nice. have to yell. I'm not being you don't have to yell. You don't have to curse. You don't have to yell. You don't have to curse. You don't have to do none of that. You need to learn how to talk to people. Get down here. I think nice. No, you have not been nice. Number one. No, you have not. Marlene, get down here. Get down here. And get out there. I'm going to cut your grass. Get down here. I'm going to cut your grass. I mean, my father's grass. I'm sorry. I'm going to cut your grass. Do you need to see the D? Do you need to see the D, motherfucker? The D? Do you need to see the D? To this motherfucker. You want to see my name on this bitch? Do you want to see my name on this bitch? You have. Uh, you want to see my name on this bitch? You have. You want to see my name on? Okay, off? you're 34. Who 34? You, I think. 34, 35. And you're talking to me so disrespectful. So disrespectful. Nigga, you're fucking 17 years old. Who's okay, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not coming to you no type Get of way. Down here. Okay. I'm cutting your grass. You act like I'm get not gonna cut here. it. Put your shoes on. Get the fuck down here and get this grass. I'm gonna cut. Back. I'm cutting. I'm not playing. I'm coming. I'm coming. Call me bitch, ho. You said fuck you. We not call you a hoe. You called when we was in the fuck you. Can I? Can I? You gonna today? Go today? I can leave today. If you tell me to leave today, I will go. If you tell me to leave today, you want me to leave? I will leave today. It's, it's okay. You, I'm asking you a simple question. Do you want me to leave right now? Do you want me to leave right now? I will. I told. I will. You want me to leave? Okay. Thought so. Do you want me to leave? I will leave. I will leave. Do you want me to leave? Yes or no? That's a yes or no question. That is a yes or no question. That is so cool. That is so cool. That is so that cool. Is I know that. I know that. And that's understandable. Cool. I'm honey, proud of you. you. Mm-hmm. Really real. Okay. But you could you could have answered the question at least yes or no. Do you want me to be here? Do you want me to be here? I'm not gonna stay here and be your slave, number one. Be a slave? She said she ain't gonna stay here and be a slave, babe. Be oh slave. you don't have to you don't have to keep telling you don't have to you don't have to be telling asking himself for validation. Eat up everything, nigga. I got to buy my own food. Oh, yeah, you called you, nigga, just like you called me a bitch. Oh, oh, yeah, I sure did. Yeah, I sure did. All righty. Bye. I'm fixing to cut your grass. Bye. Get on my face. Bye. What? I said I'm fixing to cut your grass. Bye. Babe, I'm about to call the police. Call them. Call them. Call the po po ho. Call them. Police, let me go get prepared. Let me pack my shit. You better get your ass back out here. No, you going to call the police? You going to call the police? You gonna call the police? You gonna call the police? You have, you have, you gonna call the police? You have you some leverage. Yeah, I'm doing what you told me to do. I sure am. was doing what you told me to do. But you keep on, you keep on. You keep poking me. You just keep poking, 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 poking. You gonna call the? Okay then. Okay then. Since you wanna post stuff on Facebook all the time, got you. So you gonna call the police? You gonna call the police? That's what I wanna know. That's my main question. Are you gonna call the police? Somebody wanna post something on Facebook? Yeah, remember those times you posted me on Facebook? Who's the guy your ass been in the wrong? You in the wrong. You are so in the wrong. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. You do not act like this in front of your family. I guarantee you don't. You don't. I guarantee you. I guarantee you don't. My family don't have lazy. It's not no well was me around here. Everything, every time you ask me to do something, I do it. Every time. So you can't say Wait, nothing I about understand it. Understand this. Your daddy is the authority. Mm -hmm. I am the authority in this motherfucker. Mm -hmm. 
But you cannot say it. But you cannot say. You literally cannot say, I do not do anything. Every time you tell me to do that kitchen, I do that kitchen. If I do it wrong, you wake me up and I do it again. No nothing. I do it. This grass, I'm doing it. But instead, you keep on antagonizing, poking, no, poking, no, poking, no, poking. No, poking. Y'all are so done. Let me go. You heard that back? Yep. I'll say it again. You want me to say it again? If y'all are so done, let me go. So she want to be emancipated, babe. But she too far into that. I'm emancipated. I just turned 18 in August. Just let me go. Y'all, the only reason why I'm here is so my daddy don't want to have to, so my daddy don't have to pay no child support. Because right, y'all had an option. We had an like I said, y'all had an option. You the, had lawyer option said, the lawyer you said, had the lawyer said, the lawyer said she like, is a minor. She is a minor. So if y'all want to go through with the court process, you're going to have to pay for her a lawyer. You went through with it. It got dismissed. You're a loss. No. You're lost up to $700. No, it, it and if y'all even think one minute, I'm going to pay it. If you even think one minute, I'm going to pay it. You, you got me dead wrong. Okay. You got me wrong. Because you try to put me in jail over some stupid shit. Okay. But that's okay. Like I said, I do not want to be here. I do not want to be here. I don't know. If you told me to leave right now, adios, amigos. I'm gone. I know it. I'm gone. Y'all want y'all want to know everything of where I want to do, where I, where I got to be, how much money I got, where I spend my money. Why are y'all so worried about it? If you so-called the other day said you was done. If you so done, why are you worried about me? Oh, she got her mouth twisted. Now. Sure do. You want, you want to see me like this again? Yeah. I'm, if you're done, I'm done. I'm tired of being just trying to do everything you're telling me to do. So you can't say nothing. Well, look here. What? Like I said, you're in our house. There's no thing. You don't pay no rent here. It's you common courtesy. Common courtesy. Common courtesy. Common courtesy. Just like every time you come in through the house, yes, I understand you work and I understand that you you tired throughout the day and you expect shit to be done and I do everything that you tell me to do. Yes, sometimes I may slip up and make a mistake, but guess what? I go back and I First fix all, it. So every time, every time y'all come in here, Good morning, good afternoon, whenever y'all come in. Common courtesy. I don't got to do it, but I do it anyway. Every time you do something around the house, you thank you. Every time every time you talk to me, I listen. But when it comes to stuff like this, I'm not going to listen. When we argue like this, it literally goes in one ear and out the other. When we're sitting down having a civil conversation, I listen to you. But stuff like this, it goes in one ear and out the other. Like y'all, I want to know, I want to know. I want to know right now. Do you want me to go? Do you want me to go? Do you want me to leave? Okay, then. You can't even answer a simple question. You're going to, so what I need your stuff Yes, ma'am.